Hey everyone, Techna here. I'm going to make this as snappy as I can because you need to get out there and be playing this game right now. And what we're going to talk about today is... Cuphead? Now yes, I did play the mess out of this game when it came out on the Xbox and I enjoyed it. I actually played the heck out of it. As you see here, I'm missing one achievement, 900 out of a thousand. I played it for a day and five hours, 22 minutes. Um, have quite a few of the achievements. Some of them are pretty tough. As you see over here, you have 0.79 percent on that um the one i'm missing all the way down here is complete the game on expert and i honestly don't think i will ever get that achievement and yes what you've read about this game where people saying it's hard it is hard but it's not that that hard where it's just like man i don't want to touch it i guess i don't know i guess it depends on your place i've had a few friends that tried playing cuphead and uh, they liked it but it was too hard so they just pushed it aside and never played it anymore and don't get me wrong it was so hard like i love this game so much that i hated it and what do i mean by that like i love the game again it is so fun the art style the music everything is perfect i can't praise it enough but again, yes, it is so hard. Like you start memorizing your controller um, and the moves. Like I think each variation, like if you fail, I believe there's like was like three or four variations, and it mix them up on you a little bit. So you kind of remember, okay, well it's gonna be this way now, or they're gonna throw this at me this time, you know. So you start remembering that, and it's like honestly, if you start playing a different game in the middle of while you're playing this, it's kind of like you kind of forget your flow. So it's kind of like this is all you want to play, and this is all you're gonna grind at, and it's just like. God, let me just beat it. But again, it's so fun that you want to continuously go on and on and on at it. You don't want to put it down, you know what I mean? But it's it's so frustrating because it's so hard. But you know you can do it because you're like right there. And it's just like, <sighs> but seriously, you're going to want to keep going and going and going. Now, there is a simple mode. You can play it on simple, but I don't believe you're going to be able to get to the final boss at the end with play them on simple. It'll make you go back and play them all on normal, right? So you have to get through that and then get into the boss and everything and... I mean, there's plenty to play, like all these uh, levels where you see you're kind of dodging kind of a, uh, a shoot 'em up type game, you know, but there's also a couple platform levels where you got to do like your basic Mario jump and shoot stuff. And those, I believe, the, in my opinion, I think the platforming levels are a little harder than some of the bosses. I mean, they are pretty dang tough. Now, this game can be played with two players. One person can be Cuphead, one person can be Mugman. I highly advise you not doing that. I highly advise you playing it by yourself because uh, I'm not an angry gamer by any means, but this game will bring the worst out of you. You know, I don't know if any of you have seen of my uh, previous, one of my older videos about uh, uh, gamers and their heart rate. This would have been a fantastic game to test out with that. Hey, check that video out if you haven't. I'll leave it down in the description. A really cool little test. But again, I think this game would have been fantastic for that test. But let me catch you right there. Like, I'm saying it's so hard and everything. It's not like so hard where it's like unbearable and you don't want to touch the game. You don't want to get anywhere near it. At least for me, you know. I love that challenge where it's like, it's so hard. It's like right there. You just, you want to get there and you want to beat it. You know what I mean? It just pushes you even that harder. And the awesome thing now, like we're talking about, it's on the Switch. I mean, you cannot ask for a better platform for this game to be on. It fits absolutely perfect. There's three games you buy when you buy a Switch, right? You buy Mario Odyssey, you buy uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and you buy Mario Kart. You know what? We're going to make that four now because you're going to buy Cuphead. Those are the four games you need if you have a Switch. If you don't have a Switch yet, you need to go buy one and you need to get this game with it. It is just the perfect platform for this game. Now why I say the Switch is a perfect platform for this game is the portability of it. And now when I say portability, it's not me talking about, oh hey, you can take this to the park or play it on a train to work, which all that is great. You know, we all love that. But the thing I think this is going to shine is you can just play this, you know, hanging out uh, in the recliner or in the bed before you go to bed. Because that's, uh, it's just going to be such a fantastic stress reliever just to be able to play this in bed. Because I'm telling you, it's going to push you to your limits. Now, the one bad thing about it being portable is... I mean, this switch might end up flying somewhere. You know what I mean? You just might just want to say, ah, oh, just the heck with this game, set it down, and it's going to fall off the counter or something. I can just see that happening. You know what I mean? <laughs> now that I've probably turned you off on this game, saying it was so hard and it's just going to drive you bananas and everything, please, that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just letting you know, yes, it is a challenge. It's not like this hardest thing ever. Um, again, you're going to have to learn it and really play the game. It's not something you're just going to pick up and beat this level, beat that level, beat the next level you know what I mean you're gonna be playing these levels 
multiple times. But again, that's not bad. Again, that's, I think, the game plan. That's where it really shines. It's going to test your uh, skills as a gamer, you know, which I really love. And honestly, after you beat this game and you play and you grind it, any other game you hop on, it's going to be like, Pfft. I mean, this is a breeze. Now, the graphics of it, uh, again, I played it on the Xbox X, the PC, and all that, and I think they all look fantastic. They all look great. I think it, the graphics and the style of it really fit the Switch just fantastic. Kind of get that, uh, you know, Mario type of feel. And it honestly looks fantastic, whether if you're on a big screen or the uh, handheld mode. It looks fantastic and plays great across both of them. We'll go ahead and crank out one quick boss here, or try to. Uh, regular here, I can't even see. I'm, uh, I'm looking sideways. Let me see. Oh, see? It's kind of tough playing it sideways here, guys. You pretty much never, quick tip, never let go of the shoot button. Oh, this is too hard playing this sideways here. All right, now let's take a look at it in handheld mode. And as you can see right there real quick where you died on the boss, it lets you know how far you get um, with each level as you go as well. And it honestly, in my opinion, might look better on a Switch. I don't know. It just fits it perfectly, you know? It looks so good. Hey, spoiler right here. Uh, go underneath this bridge, pick up a uh, secret uh, right down there. Spoiler alert. But now let's try this boss again in handheld mode. And again, this is where it really shines in my opinion here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Got him. <laughs> Buy this uh, triple blaster with your coins. Will they give you some right when you start off? Oh dear. You can definitely get this uh, triple blaster first. Oh, I only got one health left. Ah, oh, jeez. Now, one other thing I highly recommend you doing with this game, even just with your Switch with any game, but I think it's going to help out a lot with this one, is get one of these little uh, grips right here. You see how it raises it up? Like, here's your Switch regular, how it's flat. Then you have this guy that's going to give you really big grips. This is the one with the biggest grips that I could find, um, you know, on Amazon or actually anywhere online. There's a bunch out there, but some of them have smaller grips. Again, this one just gives you really big grips and it fits your hand and feels like a controller and with a game like this where you're going to be going at it i mean this is going to make it so much better but hey everyone i can't stress enough how fantastic this game is obviously you can tell i really love it it's one of those games that you really get attached to the character and you just kind of bond with the game it's just it's such a fantastic game i highly recommend you try it if you don't have a switch still pick it up on the pc or the xbox whichever you have but the switch it, again it just feels perfect on it but hey, let me know in the comments. Did you play Cuphead before? What did you think about it? Did you think it was easier than I'm saying? Um, I, again, it was such a joy. Don't let me, you know, saying that it's hard, steer you away from it. That is not what I'm trying to do at all. I'm just letting you know it's going to be a challenge, but it is a fun challenge. So please do let me know in the comments. Did you play Cuphead before and what did you think about it? Did you pick this one up and are you playing it? And again, what do you think about the uh, Switch version? But hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now. One more thing. Don't deal with the devil.